Hi everyone, my name is Gwen Pali. I'm actually working at Kylabs, developing systems to shape beams, and I will describe the technology just now. Kylabs, we are actually a deep tech company based in Rennes, in the west of France. We are designing, manufacturing, and selling beam shaping systems for telecommunication. Aruna, to improve local network, the Proteus product line for laboratories. Tilba, a system designed to improve laser communication. We are developing systems for specific customers, for defense or for medical, for example. But we are here today to discuss about our Canunda product line. These products are made to improve laser material processing. A lot of different objects in our daily life are heated by a laser during their manufacturing process. It can be your watch, your cell phone, your TV, your car, the plane you take to travel. And with Canunda, we want to actually improve the quality of the yield of this specific step. We have developed systems like Canunda HP to improve macroprocesses with high power CW lasers. And we have developed all the systems, Canunda Pulse, Canunda Split, and Canunda Axicon to improve macro processes which are based on pulse lasers. Most of the systems we are developing are based on the unique technology MPLC, which stands for Multiplane Light Conversion. The principle is that the light will go through multiple face plates with propagation in between the face plates. MPLC enables to uh, combine multiple beams or to have multiple beams at the output. Along the way, we have realized that it would be much more convenient to implement it in a reflective way. Therefore, now you are having two mirrors, one of them being textured with all the different face plates, the other being just a normal mirror. Then the light is going back and forward both mirrors. This technology enables to have freeform beam shaping, meaning any shape is achievable, and to have a control over the intensity and the phase profiles, which is very important. As you can see, it's a fully passive implementation. Since it's implemented in a reflective way, it can handle really high power and high energy. With the MPLC, we have developed a product called Canunda Pulse. It is compatible with high power femtosecond lasers. It generates top hat shape or more complex shape and can be used for a lot of different applications. One example, with our partner Lazea, we have developed a system providing a U-shape. This shape is ideal if you want to have a constant energy profile while you are scanning your sample. This shape has been used in order to improve welding of microfluidic chips. We have welded a 45 by 7.5 square millimeter chips in less than 20 seconds. The scanning speed was improved by a factor of 9 and as you can see, the aesthetic of the weld seam has been improved a lot as well. Another example with our partner Say It. We have delivered them two triangular shape. This shape is actually ideal if you want to drill V grooves and you want to have the capability to adjust the position of the maximum depth as well as the angle of the groove. As you can see on those images, by rotating the triangle, we have actually proved that this is possible to have these V grooves and to adjust the parameters I just mentioned. We have also developed another product called Canunda Axicon. It is a reflective axicon enabling the generation of high quality bezel beams. The light is actually reflected onto the axicon with an angle. After the axicon, the bezel beam is generated through interferences. Bezel beams have two specificities. They have a really extended depth of focus and they can reach a dimension below the diffraction limit thanks to their generation with interferences. You have here a standard setup to use our axicon. You have a standard source, two lenses to adjust the beam diameter, two mirrors to adjust the angle onto the axicon, and the bezel beam is actually generated after the axicon. In order to align the input beam onto our axicon, the best is to look at the ring you're having in the far field. As you can see, in the near field, you are now having your bezel beam. There are two kinds of setups which can be used with our axicon. One with a microscope objective if you want to get really small bezel beams. But our axicon are extremely stable and the output beam can actually also go through a galvo scanner and an f lens if you want to have a maximized process speed. Here is a short video about the results we've had with our reflective axicon at LZH.
When you're manufacturing a transmissive axicon, you always have a blunt tip. The light which is going through this blunt tip will get out with a spherical face. And the interferences in between this part of the beam with a spherical face and the bezel beam will actually generate oscillation along the bezel beam of the intensity. With our partner FemtoST, we have actually measured the bezel beam intensity profile with a reflective axicon as well as with a glass axicon. As you can see on this curve, it's pretty clear that the oscillations are reduced. Due to the fact that it's reflective, it can actually handle really high peak power, up to 1 millijoule per synergy for a femtosecond laser. Moreover, since it's fully reflective, you have no chromatic dispersion and the duration of the pulse is actually preserved. These are just a few results with Canon Pulse and Canon Axican and we have much more to show. Do not hesitate to contact me at gwen at kylabs.com if you want to hear about other process results or other beam shaping systems. Thank you very much and have a nice day.